teriyaki chicken is a cinch to make at home. You don't have to be a great cook to make delicious food. Let me show you how. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, a home cook bringing you simply delicious food ideas. Teriyaki chicken is what we're making today. And I have to say when I was younger and was too um, scared to try sushi, teriyaki was my go-to menu item that I would order. Whether it was chicken or beef, I would always order one of those because not only is it tasty, but it came out on a sizzling plate. The foundation of any good teriyaki is in the sauce. So we're going to start with half a cup of soy sauce, just using regular soy sauce. A quarter cup of mirin. And mirin is a sweet rice wine and it's got like the slowest pouring bottle. Adding a tablespoon of rice vinegar. That's to add some acidity and a quarter cup of brown sugar. Now teriyaki is a little bit sweet. So it is a good idea to add some sugar. You can cut down on the sugar if you like. Adding a teaspoon of sesame oil. And I'm also going to grate in about a teaspoon of uh, ginger. If you don't like ginger, you don't have to add this. Totally up to you. And instead of chopping up my garlic, I'm just going to grate it in as well. So two cloves of garlic. And again, if you don't want to use garlic, you don't have to. I just think that the ginger and the garlic adds a little bit of something extra, extra flavor. Make sure that the sugar is all dissolved in there. I have eight chicken thighs in here. It's about three pounds. If you don't like chicken thighs, you can use chicken drumsticks, you can use chicken breasts if you like. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of the sauce in here, just to marinate the chicken a little bit. And we're going to let this marinate for about half an hour. And in the meantime, I'm going to preheat my oven to 425 and then get the rest of my dinner ready. So whether it's making rice or chopping up vegetables, totally up to you, whatever you're going to serve your chicken with. All right, once your chicken is done marinating, I'm going to put it on a parchment lined uh, sheet pan. And you can use um, aluminum foil if you like. I just like lining it because it makes for an easier cleanup. And we're gonna put them skin side up. I find that when you put your chicken down and you push the sides kind of tucked underneath, it actually makes for a juicier chicken than if you just let it, like when you lay it down flat, maybe they just overcook more or, I don't know. So I try to tuck in the bottoms or tuck in the sides. All right, last one. In your bowl, you'll have some extra sauce that's remaining. You can use that for basting. So we'll just keep that and we will baste the chicken uh, at the 30 minute mark. So we're gonna stick this into a preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're just gonna let it bake for 30 minutes and then we're gonna baste. Right, we're gonna move on to our sauce while we wait for our chicken to bake. And I'm gonna turn on the heat up to a medium. Just pour in my sauce. And we're just gonna bring that to a simmer. I'm also going to add a quarter cup of water
Once it's simmering, we're going to let it cook for about two to three minutes, just so that the flavors can kind of meld together. To thicken the sauce, we're going to use a cornstarch slurry. So two teaspoons of cornstarch. And adding about a tablespoon of cool water. Remember the water has to be cool or room temperature in order for the cornstarch to dissolve. All right, I'm gonna add our cornstarch slurry to the sauce. And give it a stir. And we're gonna cook this until it gets glossy and thickens. I'm going to cook it for about a minute. Look at that. Looks so good. And if you didn't want to baste the chicken with the leftover marinade, you can also baste it with this sauce instead. Totally up to you. Okay, we're just gonna turn off the heat and wait for the chicken to be done. Oh my goodness, look at, they already look so delicious. All right, I'm just gonna baste with the marinade the sauce is gonna cook some more because we're gonna put them back in the oven for 10 minutes. All right, 10 more minutes. Check it out, guys. Looks so good. All right, I had made some rice, steamed some broccoli and carrots, and we're just gonna place our chicken on top and spoon our teriyaki sauce right on top of the chicken. Are you ready for the taste? Mmm, I'm dude, this is the taste. Guys, you can make your own chicken teriyaki at home. You know at the restaurant, they'll have strips of chicken thighs on a hot plate, no hot plate here, but you got the vegetables brock and carrots and you can spoon on as much sauce as you'd like mm, smells awesome mm, moist oh that sauce mm, it's real flavorful you got the sweetness and all the good umami going on there. Oh yeah, it's awesome rice for the win. Of course the veg, mmm, healthy. Yeah, really simple and you can get fantastic flavors at home and pretty quickly too, I might add. So much goodness here guys. Awesome, thanks, dude. Yep. The only thing missing is a sizzling plate. You can find this recipe on flowthumb.com.